How do I fix a cyclic redundancy check error when I try to copy a file? It's pretty much happened to all of us. Uh, something happens either to a disk or to a USB device or something where we get this obscure error about there being a cyclic redundancy check. It could mean several things, and we'll winnow through a couple of the more obvious sides to understand just where the error might be coming from and what you might need to do next. How do I fix a cyclic redundancy check error when I try to copy a file? CRC errors happen when there's a bad spot on the media of your hard disk. Data recovery and disk repair are often possible with the right tools, but you won't need them if you have a backup. I'm Leo Notenboom, and this is AskLeo.com. Question. Outlook started acting up, so as part of my attempts to fix it, I tried to copy the PST to another location. The copy failed partway through with a cyclic redundancy check error. How can I get past this and back up my mail? A cyclic redundancy check, or CRC error, indicates a bad spot on your hard drive. The fact that you're seeing when it when you try to copy a file indicates the bad spot may be within the file itself. We need to verify that, try to recover your file, and repair your hard drive. Then, we need to learn from this. In the file or not? We'll start by making sure the problem is actually within the file being copied, since it's also possible the problem is with the hard disk location being copied to. It's a two-step process using command prompt. CD to the folder in which the file resides. Copy the file to null. Null is a special device file name that means nothing. So this operation copies the file to nothing. This is helpful because we know that the only disk access that will happen is to read the file. There's no attempt to write to the disk. First, locate the file. If you're not sure where a PST file is, where is my Outlook PST file located, has instructions to find it. As an example, my file is at c colon backslash users backslash lnote backslash documents backslash outlook files backslash outlook.pst. Run command prompt and enter the two commands corresponding to this two, two steps we listed above. cd to c colon users lnote documents outlook files. Copy outlook.pst null. Replace my example location of file with yours, of course. If a copy to null works without reporting an error, the problem is likely not with the file itself, but with the location you were trying to copy it to. My recommendation would be to copy it to a different disk entirely, perhaps a USB stick, external drive, or something else. If the copy to null fails with a CRC error, then we've confirmed the bad sector on your hard disk is actually being used by some portion of the file. Try to fix the file. If the problem is in the file itself, we start by making as best a copy of it as we can. This preserves a copy in a state where, quote, it can't get any worse than this, quote. Some data within the file may be lost, but you'll have copied as much as possible before taking any additional recovery steps. Once again, we want to copy the file to a different disk, and once again, this is best done within command prompt. CD, C colon users lnote documents outlook files, xcopy slash c outlook.pst d colon. Replace my example location with yours and the D drive with the drive letter assigned to the other drive to which you're copying the file. Two important things to note. We've used the xcopy for extended copy command, and we've added the slash c switch which keeps copying even if errors are encountered. As you've already experienced, the default behavior of both copy and xcopy, as well as copying a file using Windows File Explorer, is to stop if an error occurs. Now that we've got a quote-unquote no worse than backup copy, we can attempt to repair the disk. Try to fix the disk. Disk Surface Recovery Tools. If you're willing to spend money, there's a possibility we can repair the drive. Tools like Spinrite analyze your hard disk and repair sectors without modifying its contents. If Spinrite runs on your machine, sadly it may not on more and more machines as it's not been updated in some time, and a bad sector can be recovered, it's very possible that Spinrite or other tools like it will recover it. Running tools like this is not without risk. If your disk is on the verge of failure, 
the heavy use in analyzing and recovering the data could push it over the edge into a more catastrophic failure. Try to fix the disk? Check disk. If surface analysis and repair tools don't do it, then Windows own check disk utility is the next thing to try. It's not as thorough, and it doesn't perform the same deep analysis and recovery, but it can recover from some types of failures. Once again, in the command prompt, check disk slash r. The slash r parameter for repair directs check disk to check for disk physical and surface errors and repair them as best it can. If this is your system drive, most often C colon, the command will not run immediately, but will be scheduled for the next reboot. You'll need to reboot to make this happen. After check disk is done, try making another copy of the file. If it works, save that as a possibly fixed copy of your file. Even if check disk does repair the problem, I'm torn on how much you can trust the hard disk. You could still experience future failures. Given that disks are relatively inexpensive in comparison to data loss, I'd be tempted to replace the drive, especially if this is not the first instance of an error. When all else fails. If none of the steps above repair the bad sector or otherwise recover your file, you're a little bit screwed. It's now time to work with the best effort file you saved earlier, and depending on what kind of file it is, try to recover its contents. In your example, an Outlook PST file, that means running scan PST on it, which will scan the contents of the file and attempt to recover what it can. There will most likely be data loss, sometimes a lot of data loss. That's why I encourage you to never run utilities like scan PST on your only copy of the file. You always want the original to go back to in case there's something else in it you can recover manually. For other types of files and applications, It'll depend entirely on the specifics of that application as to how it deals with a partially corrupt file and whether it can be repaired. The lesson to learn. Which brings me to my last point. If this is the only copy of the file, if you will suffer significant data loss if this file has been damaged, then apparently you haven't been backing up. Start backing up now. This was a wake-up call. Even if you successfully recover your file, you should be scared. Start backing up your important data now. In fact, start backing up everything, whether you think it's important or not. The next time there's a problem, you may not be as lucky. For links related to this article or to leave a comment, visit askleo.com 2935. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.